първата си книга, всъщност книгата, която се учих да чета, беше една от проекциите Тат по Барба. Те бяха едни много симпатични детски книжки в голям формат с страховни иллюстрации. И си спомням как в детската градина, не знам на колко години съм била, може би на 4-5, докато си разглеждах книгата и си гледах картинките, в един момент осъзнах, че мога да разбирам и думите. Kindergarten teacher was teaching me how to read, but I didn't know how to yet. Um, but I pretended to read to all of the other children in the class. Um, and it was a picture book with a cat that knocks over a pot of geraniums. Um, but I can only remember the pictures because I couldn't read all the words. Um, I remember one of the first books that was read aloud to me. Both my parents read chapter books aloud, and my dad read this book called My Side of the Mountain, about a little boy that lives in the woods on the mountain by himself. Um, and I still think about this book all the time, even though I'm much older, um, because so many teachers tell you that you need many characters to have a plot, and this whole book is just a boy in a tree. Много добре помня, и за съжаление съм я загубила и вече не е с мен. Това беше, аз бях на 5 години, може би половина, и това беше книга, която се казваше Как Пуци спечели купата. <laughs> Разказваше се за една а, семейство мишки, в което има едната сестра е пловкиня, а единия брат е атлет. Най-малкото мишле, което се казваше Пуци, а, беше шахматист. И той смяташе, че за да бъде добър шахматист, трябва само да играе шах. Но, а, разбира той, докато нали, ние четем, а, това не е достатъчно, трябва и да се спортува. И Пуци спечели купата, когато започна да спортува не само умствено, но и физически. I don't remember the title, but I did start reading very young and I from the moment I started reading I didn't stop. I just read and read everything. They tell me that when television arrived in Australia, I didn't even glance at it. I sat in the corner and read. And I finished all the books in the children's library and I was given a special permission to take books from the adult library. Uh, the book I'm thinking of is probably, uh, was probably read to me instead of me reading it, but maybe that area in between where you are reading for yourself and also being read to somewhere, sort of both, um, was The Little Engine That Could. <laughs> and it's about a hard-working train that climbs up a mountain and The train thinks the train, the train is worried it can't climb the mountain and then it climbs the mountain. Maybe very, it's right, like a very, ins, try children very hard to succeed, but uh, I, I, trains are so cool. So that was my first book, I would say. I certainly remember that the first books that I read were books that were read to me. So my parents would read books to me. And I think it's one of the best ways to get started in reading, right? That you get a book told to you. and. I think it was a book called The BFG by Roald Dahl. It's about a friendly giant who befriends a young child and they go on adventures together. And to me, that's what was so great about reading or being read too, that it opened up this whole new world, right? And it seems cliche to say that, but that's true, especially when you're young, that uh, this is a place that you can be transported to, that it's so engrossing that you look forward to it every night. That's what I remember as the first book that was read to me or that I read. Um, And there have been many others since then, but I don't know if they've ever had the same impact as that first one. Well, my parents say that I wouldn't sleep with the little animals when I was a baby, that I insisted that I sleep with books, so I don't know what those books were, but I remember, I think the first book I remember being completely absorbed by was the Chronicles of Narnia, the C.S. Lewis books, where the little kids could go in the closet and then enter a whole other world. So I would try to go in the closet and try to find another world, but there wasn't one. Ами аз мисля, че сам я избрах и това не мога да се сетя точно на колко години е било, но веднага, когато се научих да чета, значи трябва да е било около 6 годишни, тогава тръгнах на училище в първи клас. А, обаче я помня книгата, много странно, че я помня коя е. А, това са детски приказки Черната воденица на Юрий Брезан. Много добре си спомням книгата. Моето детство е преминало изключително и много сред книги. Книгите дълго време ми бяха най-добрите приятели. Със сигурност е било нещо от библиотека Световна класика. Може би една от първите книги, които съм прочела, беше Стаси Нели. 
Също така си спивам много ясен спомен да чета Войната на таралежите. И също така имам спомени как чета Едгар Ампо.